I want to savor you. And I mean that in the least pornographic way possible. I mean, I want to taste your breath the moment you wake up and hold it in the air between my cheeks until my lungs break down in an apathetic release, letting go of the flavor. I'll wait another 24 hours to encounter love. I want to lick the dirt from the places you've been that rests underneath your nails until my taste buds memorize your fingertips. I want to memorize your childhood. The stories behind all the scars, even the ones you don't wear on the outside, I want to know how you hurt. I want to know everything about your parents and the details of their divorce, and I want to teach you that love can last, and that smiling doesn't take too much effort, and neither does holding your temper, but neither does holding my hand. And I want to watch you burn down the kitchen as you try to make me vegetarian fajitas, and I want to hear the disappointment in your voice when you have to order pizza that night. I want to spend the night, every night, on your living room floor. Drinking tea imported from Japan, watching foreign documentaries we'll never understand. You make me feel cultured. And you know that song you sing in the shower? I want to memorize every line, every note, every rhyme, every way that your mouth moves. I want to memorize all your favorite foods. And I want to have to remind you not to talk with your mouth full unless you're telling me your secrets. Tell me all of your secrets, even the ones you're embarrassed about. I want to share your shame. I want to find crumpled pieces of paper in the trash can of drawings you thought weren't good enough and frame them on my wall. I want loose strands of your hair to fill up the empty spaces on my bookshelf to remind me sometimes the best love stories aren't ever written down. And I want to write you down, keep you in the pocket of my favorite pair of jeans. I want to always carry you with me. Even if you get too heavy, I'll keep you on my shoulders. In case you ever want to feel closer to the stars, or the sun, or the moon, I promise to be the tide that never leaves your shore. I promise you will never leave my mind or my mouth. I want to burp up the taste of soy sauce from the date we had at the Chinese restaurant three nights ago, where a fortune cookie told me love doesn't always win. Well, if that's true, if love doesn't always win, then you are my favorite failure. And I want to kiss you right when you wake up and before you go to sleep and after breakfast and lunch and dinner. My God, I want to kiss you and hold you when your favorite movies make you cry and I never want to make you cry. But if I do, when I do, I want to place your tears in a jar and set it next to a journal of unfinished poems to remind you we have a lot to work on. We have a lot of things to fix. We have a, a lot of growing up to do, but I want to stick around for that too. Because there's nothing in this world more important to me than this. And I want to love you today like it's the only chance I give.